Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Electronic Revolution Broadcasting Network's coverage of SIVO. Right now, we're going to be covering the $1,000 TF2 tournament, and tonight it's going to ha uh, we're going to showcase two teams. Uh, number one is going to be IHOT. They're going to be taking on Comedy Option. Both teams come in into this fight undefeated. Comedy Option coming in at 2 and 0. IHOT coming in at 1 and 0. Both teams have a forfeit win, so uh, basically it's 2 0 and 1 and 1 0 and 1. And uh, this battle is going to be taking place on CP Gravel Pit. Really quick, my name is Anger, and I'll be the host for tonight. And alongside with me, co-casting will be Daddy Fat Sacks. What's up, Fatty? Not much. What's going on, everybody? It's been a while since since I've casted. Glad to be back uh, back on the air. And on the video, the man, the myth, the legend, Limeic. What's going on, Lime? Hey, not too much. Just looking at Hi Hot doing some air guitar with their uh, uh, axe. It's pretty cool. It's going to be a great match. Looking forward to it. Uh all right. Well, tonight uh, there's been some uh, rule changes as of late, so I'll, I'll uh, get you filled in on that really quick. Uh, what's going to happen is both teams will have a chance to defend and attack twice, so there will be no attack advantage on this. And also, there will be no time limit. This match could end up in a draw. So since it's in the round-robin phase of the tournament, uh, it can end up in a tie. Uh, I guess if it does... I guess the best CPI uh, will be in effect. I'm not sure how that will work out, but eventually uh, it should once the teams have all played the round robin teams. So with that being said, we're going to get ready to uh, hit this match. But really quick, if this match uh, ends quick or even if it doesn't, if we have time, we're going to show you a little eight-minute video that uh, Limek found. He got permission from the uh, maker. And uh, Lime, we want you to give a little bit of a teaser for the people if they want to watch it and hang out and, and watch this uh, TF2 video. Yes, well, it's, uh, I found that um, I was browsing the web, and it's, uh, most of you that are really in tune with uh, Team Fortress stuff uh, probably already found it. It's called Ignis Solace uh, by the guys at uh, LitFuseFilms.com, and uh, Ignis Solace is burn alone, so you can already tell who's the main character of that machinima. So uh, it's pretty fun to watch and very, very well made, so we'll probably put that up after uh, the end of the match. All right, so uh, we'll, we'll definitely take a look at that. Um, depending, again, how long this match takes, uh, we should be all right, though. Again, we are on CP Granary, and we are covering SIBO. So in case you're just joining us Travel and pit. never play TF2, or excuse me, yeah, Gravel Pit, I apologize. Uh, in case you're just joining us and watching this for the first time, uh, uh, this is a very fast-paced game, and it's, uh, it's really, really fun to watch. And uh, again, this is brought to you by SIVO. You can head over to their website at www.sivo.com. Now, you can get your shout-outs to me, uh, Fatty. Well, mainly me right now because we've got to get Fatty set up. But nevertheless, you can head on over to IRC on the Game Surge Network. You can hit pound e-rev. You can get your shout-outs that way. If you already have my X-Fire, you can shoot those uh, via X-Fire, but I prefer you to head on over to IRC, chat with the rest of the people in the channel right now. Uh, they're talking up a storm a little bit here, so uh, you can get your shout-outs that way. So, so right now we are in week number two, match number four, and it is Comedy Option versus iHot. I'll go, now do, we're just I'll waiting go ahead and do a quick rundown of the map if you'd like. Yeah, go for it. All right, uh, red team will be defending, blue team will be attacking. Uh, it's going live in 60 seconds. Blue, red team has three cap points, A, B, and C. C being locked from the start. Blue has to cap A and B before C is unlocked. I believe it starts with about six to ten minutes, and every time you cap one of the flags, it will unlock more time. Um... C is actually a pretty easy flag to cap because you can jump up, you can uh, rocket jump up there or sticky bomb jump up there. So there's a bunch of different ways to get to C. So once you get pushed back to C, that's it's usually just a matter of time. Um, it's a bunch of different strategies that you see on this map. Some teams will just defend one of the two flags and let the 
like usually B and let the other team get A. But you never know. I'm interested to see what they do here, and it's live. All right, Fatty. Right now we're going to cover A side. If you can cover the uh, C side, or excuse me, the A side, and I'll cover B. I apologize. Uh, we can get this action started. It looks like they're going to be going A. Comedy option is on the attacking side, the blue side, and IHOT is defending off the start here. So as I was saying that right now, they are attacking A. That would be comedy option. They are over the point. IHOT pretty much said what you were just uh, stating there, Fatty, that they just let A go and they're going to defend hard C and B. Right now, they have almost uh, the A side the A uh, capture point in the favor of comedy option, and they do. So the additional time uh, for them has been added. So right now they're going to head on over to B. So this is where the, all the action is going to be taking place right now. Uh, Fatty, what are you seeing on that end? Right now, um, IHOT has a soldier and a demo man on the roof. Um, looks like a heavy with a medic inside the cap point. And we got a turret with an engineer right over here defending um, the guys coming from C and I high whoa man bonkers with that turret that's in a great position just catching those guys as they come out of that door yeah it's a level uh, level three sentry gun that's right there at the B point uh, one of the uh, looks like one of the entry points they can come from A actually from the bottom side and hit attack B because they are on the roof. Right now we have Axe taking out Bonkers. Axe taking out that sentry gun as he took out Bonkers. Right now we have an uh, Uber right now. Captain Garrett alongside Zergaholic uh, is trying to defend that B point right now. That B capture uh, point. And we have a sniper on the scene. It looks like it's oh. going to be uh, no shoe. And what are you seeing over there, Fatty? Rubicon just backstabbed the heavy Captain Garrett but was uh, bone sawed down by IHOT's medic, Zergaholic. Um, they just pretty much cleared that flag and now they're stepping on. Oh, an insanity with a shot to the body on Axe. Yeah, as we speak, though, it looks like we have Nad, uh, Nadagas there from Comedy Option on the point, but he got off there. He didn't have very much energy left. Right now, there's six minutes, 45 seconds uh, in this uh, first round, and it looks like they're trying to hold off. We have a medic alongside. Uh, Two soldiers in the vicinity here on the B capture point. Fatty, what are you seeing on that end? Uh, oh wow, there, I had had boogs on our boogs on the top, um, trying to defend that flag. But uh, comedy option just popped up a soldier on top. This flag's over halfway capped right now, with tottering, teeter tottering between four and six people on the cap, and that is that's pretty much gone. With nine minutes left, they have to defend C. And they've already got a guy on it. They already have a guy this on it. There is, is a soldier over. right now, and that is Axe right now. He's getting that point, and he almost has it in their favor. Three quarters in the favor of Comedy Option. They're doing a nice job, it's and that is over. it. Comedy Option wins the uh, first set there, one to zero. Nice job by Comedy Option. Wow, they had a ton of time left, too, on that one. And I was close. It starts with... Uh, six minutes and every time a uh, flag is capped you get an extra three minutes so it looks like we're uh... looks like they're ready to switch sides here getting the last minutes changes here so right now we're going to do a little pretty much of a flip-flop comedy option will be the uh... Defending team and IHOT will be attacking on this second round now again both teams will have the uh... the chance to attack and defend uh, two times so that has been a civil rule change there and also the uh, there is no time limit so again ah, that's one to zero Com yeah comedy option takes the uh, first round there I was talking, nice I was actually talking about a little uh, sh strategy that they were using and suiciding uh, for the NG to get their parts all right here we go ladies and gentlemen Chance now. I'm going to cover the B side. Uh, if you can look at the A side, Fatty, and see if they're attacking that side. And it looks like they yeah, are. There's nobody defending. So we have IHA. We only have a scout on the point, and it does take a little while to uh, come in their favor here. We have the Wolf. Really quick, since it's slowing down a little bit, we have for IHA the starting lineup: Zergaholic, Insanity, Captain Garrett, Bonkers, the Wolf, and Boogs. For comedy option, we have Yusuf, Axe. Natagast, Rubicon, Comedy Bliss Option, and Tosax. So that is your starting lineups for both teams, and uh, it looks like IHOT has control of.
the A point. So right now they're going to head on over to B, and this is where the bloodbath is going to be, Fatty. What are you seeing right now for defense? Um, Comedy Options is using a different point, which I kind of like a little bit better for their turret because um, the point that IHOT put their turret at, it wasn't really defending the flag if they came from their home point. So looks like uh, IHOT's just starting to attack B right now. Now, a couple guys getting taken down by soldiers. So let me go over this really quick. We have an engineer, Rubicon, with the sentry gun. He's taking care of that. We have one medic that I see right now, and that is uh, Yusef. And we have two, uh, looks like we have one soldier and one demo man right now. I'll make that two soldiers. So they're spread out around the B compound. And right now we have one uh, IHOP member, and that's going to be DeWolf. But he actually goes back to the A side in the, in the tunnels that lead back to A. So really, IHOP is really not attacking right now. There's 7 minutes, 15 seconds in the second round right now. And uh, they're pretty much, I think they're getting their strat ready, getting ready to attack. Do you see, are, are they trying to Uber one another, or they at least get the charge yeah. back up there before they attack? Yeah, working is, that what you're seeing? Uber. is that what you're seeing? Yeah, right. Zergaholic's working on an Uber right now. They got uh, Captain Garrett as a soldier, emoing it up right now. Um, that's my wow. favorite word. Wow. just... just tore up Boogs. Uh, Boogs was in a spy uh, kit there, and he just got raped. So right now, it looks like IHOT is trying to move in from the C side, uh, going from A to C to B, and trying to get into that point, but it uh, looks like they fell back. Right now, uh, Comedy Option has the lead here. They took uh, the first round 1-0 to zero as the attacking side. So again, they're flipping the sides here, and uh, Comedy Option is defending while IHOT is attacking. And uh, are you seeing anything different right now, now Fatty? Um, no, they're just kind of coming slowly. You know, the com comedy options already kind of looking like they're a top, pretty top-notch team. I don't think a, sp a random spy is going to work at all here. I, I yeah, think comedy that's a options. bad strategy. Yeah, comedy options has been playing this game, uh, Team Fortress Classic, all the way to the, the original Team Fortress. So they know this game inside and out. Uh, so this is nothing new to them. I hot really coming from 2142 into this. Uh, game, so they're going to be a little bit new to this, but I mean, I, Comedy Options is just really uh, playing a nice defensive perimeter around the B compound, and right now there's fi 5 minutes and 35 seconds left in the second round, and IHOT really hasn't done any damage trying to attack the B compound. Yeah, they got somebody on it really quick. Um, now, I'm not saying a spy is a bad idea, because um, in the middle of a huge, you know, frenzy, they can be pretty good, but, I mean, these people know their positions. They know where everybody's at. Uh, you're not going to catch them off guard like that. Yeah, the way that they're set up is uh, really they got all angles covered. The only way I can see them coming in is through the through from A to C, but they actually have a, a soldier in that area, so they pretty much got every area covered, and they, again, they're doing a nice job defensively here. We have a sniper from the red side. That would be uh, uh, Tosax there. And uh, he's trying to get any incoming uh, IHOP members here. But we see, ooh, Boogs just knifed him from the back there. Nice spy move, but he got taken out by Rubicon's sentry gun. And we have an Uber charge here. We have Garrett alongside Zergaholic right now. And it may be a little early, but they're counter, counter Ubering right now, Fatty. This is excellent. Oh, wow. That heavy went down like a sack of potatoes between the soldier shooting him point blank and the turret just raping him. Yeah, that sentry is just, I mean, that is a beautiful position, and that sentry gun is just really just owning them right now. I mean, like we used to say in 2142, that is R2-D2 at its finest, a level 3 one at that. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that, these things, R2-D2 has nothing on the on these. This is version 2. Right now, I had the wolf taking out a double kill, well, actually taking out Rubicon and the, the uh, dispenser for them, so uh, there's... There's no uh, engineer to help get that uh, sentry gun back up. IHOT is actually coming back with a heavy. That's Captain Garrett alongside Zerkaholic once again. And Zerkaholic is really kind of falling off pace a little bit. Now he's getting back on Captain Garrett. Garrett's trying to move back. And here comes some uh, little uh, nades coming in from the uh, demo man. And right now they have a man on there. Nice job by Books taking out the sentry gun there. That was a big... Uh, a big plus for IHOT now. They're getting on the flag here, but 
comedy option is putting all their defenses back on the point. We do see uh, insanity to snipe. Now, that's very, very odd to see a sniper oh. coming this close into the action. What do you see, Fatty? Rubicon coming in as an engineer, showing that NGs aren't just all about their turrets. They got a gun, too. Taking out Zergoholic as the medic, and then taking out uh, Captain Garrett the heavy with that NG shoddy. Wow, insanity. Nice kill on Natagas with the sniper, so it did work. Tosak's taking out Boogs there with the shoddy, and right now we have a one-on-one medic, Zergaholic, going against a scout, and he got raped there by Tosak. Tosak's doing a nice job with the scout kit. We have DeWolf and Garrett on the uh, scene of the crime here on the B uh, control point, or capture point, and uh, they almost have it in their favor. It's about 75% in the favor of I IHOT right now. Two minutes, 25 seconds left in this round, so it behooves uh, IHOT to get this uh, point so they can add additional time to, to move on to C. But right now, Comedy Option doing a nice job, and they're going to get this right back in their favor. And they're putting the sentry gun right back in the same place, so it's going to be deja vu all over again. Fatty, what are you seeing? Uh, right now, we got Tosax rushing up. Uh, he jumped up, so he's in the little platform, which usually is supposed to be a safe area. But uh, I'm surprised I haven't seen more of that, uh, like a soldier jumping up there or Demo Man getting up in that little corridor. Yeah, Zergo oh, got taken out there by Tosax, and Tosax taking out the uh, the heavy there, uh, Captain Garrett. So they just brought, they just took out the medic first, which you're which you're uh, you're supposed to do, and then they take out the heavy. So nice job by Comedy Option. Uh, minute 35 seconds left in the second round right now, and uh, they're just doing an excellent job of defending here. And Fatty, I mean, really, is there any weak link in this defense at all? I mean, other than from that small portion we saw a little bit earlier. No, they're they're really. They're playing as a great team. I'm sure their event, you know, uh, right now, they're calling out all, all everybody they see. Um, they're calling each other's positions. That's why these spies are, the spies are coming in, you know, at a good time. But, I mean, they're still, I'm sure they're all, everybody knows exactly where that spy is at. Yeah, right now, 50, uh, about 50 seconds left. We have a sniper, a demo, and a soldier trying to come from the uh, farthest tunnel into the uh, B compound. But, oh, my God, B Comedy Bliss option just lighting up bonkers into Wolf with the uh, sticky. But Insanity takes out Bliss there with the uh, headshot. But 35 seconds left, and Comedy Option is going to probably take this second round. It's pretty safe to say, right? Oh yeah, 27 seconds. They could, unless they could go uh, eight scouts and get on the, or six scouts and get on that flag right away. That's the only way they can take it. But since you can only have a maximum of two scouts, it's over. Yeah, right now, 10 seconds left. Sentry gun just lighting up the rooftop here because uh, DeWolf is on the area. So five seconds, four, three. Two and one. Comedy option defends second round there as the red side. And Rubicon gets 17 points in that round. Yusef gets 13. And uh, great job by uh, Comedy option, Fatty. That That's great. I, I mean, I've never heard of Comedy option. Um, but I haven't really been in the Counter-Strike or any of that. But they're just, wow. I've heard of Hot. I'm, I know Hot's a, definitely a big brand name, but... Well, wow, to be getting, fair, uh, this is IHOT. It is the sister team, Fatty, so we got to keep it clear. But right now, Comedy Option was formed from the top two NS teams, Natural Selection. That's a Half-Life mod. And uh, they they uh, been playing for a while, and then they just formed together two teams, which were enemies in that mod while they're playing in those tourneys. And now they are one team under TF2, and they're doing an excellent, excellent job. So right now, both teams switching sides right now. And it uh, looks like IHOT's going to obviously going to be the red side, and we're going to have the comedy option going as the attacking blue side. So two rounds to zero right now. We're going to be starting the third round. And Fatty, we'll let you take off the start here. Let's see if you can follow blue side. It looks like they're going to be going A. Uh, apparently, that's looking like uh, they got a one sniper over here at B. It looks like he's just kind of trying to check out the defenses, maybe get a couple head shots like he just did on Toast. Uh, I guess, yeah, they're probably just going to go A again. Like I said earlier, they're just going to give up A and stick everything over at B. They're, they yeah, put that, 
they, I'm sorry, they put that turret in the same spot, which kind of, I mean, it did good for a little bit, but I really don't, uh, honestly, I don't see that. Because uh, if, well, I mean, if they come from their base, that, uh, that turret's no good. Yeah, I mean, you would want to steal a page from Comedy Option, I mean, with the placement of the sentry gun, because that thing was a beast for Comedy Option. I mean, it was just really lighting the people up coming up from the farthest tunnel. I mean, steal a page. I mean, you know, it doesn't hurt. If it worked for one team, hey, steal it. I mean, there's no copyrights on strats here. Yeah, exactly. So right now, Comedy Option pretty much is getting their uh, offensive set up right now. They're getting ready to run. Rubicon gets a, a shoddy blast there on Boogs, takes him out. And uh, if Comedy Option knows that Sentry Gun is there, they're going to know how to attack this uh, pretty much the same way as they did the other round. Right now we have a soldier. That's going to be Axe. He's in the scene of the crime here on the B side here, the B compound. And it's actually, he's got up the ramp there, but we do have a heavy, and that's Garrett alongside Zergaholic, the medic. And right now we have two soldiers coming in into the B compound with a medic backup. We do have a scout from Comedy Option. This is going to be chaotic on the blue uh, uh, capture point here. What are you seeing over there, Fatty? Looks like uh, Captain Garrett and Zergaholic just Ubered. Uh, it's over, and they counter Ubered Natagas and uh, Yusef. Just oh man, just clean that up. So right now they got uh, they're capping it times five, uh, so that's starting to go up. It's only about 10% capped right now. So, but there it looks like they're going to be able to get. It. They got a pretty yeah. Good, they have comedy uh, set right now. Yeah, they have Comedy Bliss, the medic, alongside two other members right now. We're going to see if, right now, IHOT's pretty much getting their defenses around C as we speak. Uh, they're, they're going to be ready this time. They're not going to let Comedy Option sneak into C like they did in the first round. So right now, they do have the uh, Comedy Option has the B capture point in their favor right now. So they're going to be, all the action going to be taking place on the C capture point. Fatty, what do you see? Uh, yeah, they're starting to put up a pretty good defense, but with 9 minutes and 15 seconds to cap this flag, uh, I don't see IHOT having too much of a chance here, to be honest with you. There's too many ways to get up onto that flag, and it caps way too fast for, uh, for a 9-minute defense, especially the way comedy options just been going crazy. Yeah, right now the comedy option is at the farthest opening coming from the B side. And uh, right now their sticky's just flying in that AO right there, in that area of operation. And right now we have a heavy, that's going to be Zergoholic and Captain Garrett trying to clean out the A side. I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do. You want to, I, I'm... I mean, you want to try to keep all your defenses uh, within the same general area, but at least spread out a little bit. But we'll see. Maybe they have a better plan than what I'm thinking. Right now, we do have a demo man uh, in the vicinity here of B actually trying to get out of the, uh, the doorway there. Fatty, what are you seeing on that end? Uh, they just used their Uber charge. Oh, man. And Tosak's taking out Zergaholic. So this, Captain Garrett's all by himself here. No more medic. Um, I, think, I think A is the, w is the way to attack, though. Um, there goes Captain Garrett. I think A is the way to attack because you can, as a soldier, pop yourself up on top or demo man. Or even a scout can kind of jump and take this path up real quick, uh, bypassing a bunch of the defenses. So. Right now we have 7 minutes, 35 seconds left in the, uh, into the second round, or excuse me, third round here. And Comedy Option has two control points in their favor, A and B. And right now they're trying to attack C. So they have a little bit over uh, seven minutes here, seven minutes, uh, 25 seconds to get this uh, finalized here. And uh, right now IHOT doing, I have to give them props here. They're doing a nice job uh, defending uh, the C con uh, con capture point here. And uh, much props to them. Yeah, they're definitely lasting a lot longer than I, I thought they would. Well, there was a scout sighting there from Comedy Option. He just went on the point. Now we're going to have a, a couple soldiers. They're actually uh, getting their, or actually, excuse me, a soldier and a demo man. And they're going to, they're getting up here. Bonkers is just doing a nice job. But this oh, is it, man. ladies and gents. They got four members from Comedy Option on the point. Nice movement by Comedy Option getting that point. And three to zero, Comedy Option. Wow. wow. That's game, folks. So now they're going to have gonna the option. They're going to play it out. 
Yeah, they're going to play the fourth round out. That's pretty much it. Comedy option. Well, they do have a chance for a tie here. Actually, uh, uh, excuse me. No. no, they don't. I'm sorry. Yeah, that is it. I, I, I thought I hot won a round, but nevertheless. Yeah, that is it. So they're going to see if they're going to play it out. And I think they are. So that's good sportsmanship by both teams here. Just want to get that played out. That may help the CPI rating. So it's very important to play that fourth round out. So comedy option going to take the red side, defensive side now, and IHOT is going to be taking the attacking blue side. So comedy option is going to take this uh, week number two, round four matchup against IHOT here, and uh, it's going to be a nice win for them. Very impressive. So who's ever watching this and uh, you haven't seen comedy option, they're going to be uh, a force to be reckoned with, Fatty. Oh, I definitely am looking forward to checking. They, they've got some nice strategy here. I like uh, some of the just the little, the little details to their strategy, like suiciding for the extra parts for the NG. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing them again, and I, I'm sure we will. Yeah, no doubt. Right now we have IHOT actually attacking the B side, so they're going to try to do something a little different. I think this is more uh, just trying stuff out new. Tosax really t uh, just snipe bonkers there. Yusuf just doing a nice all-around job here. The sentry gun. I got to give Rubicon a lot of props. He's got that sentry gun placement. He's done some damage with the shotgun. I mean, who would you pick as Iron Man of the match uh, as we're getting get close to the end here for comedy option, uh, Fatty? You know, I I wasn't really paying attention. I would personally, I'm guessing I'm going to have to go with Rubicon. Um, I didn't see what kind of role he played on offense, though. That's, that's my only thing. I, I should have been paying more attention to that. Yeah, right now we have IHOP moving in into the uh, B compound. Uh, they didn't take A, so I guess it's just going to mainly just, just to see where they stand. Uh, four minutes, 45 seconds, and as I'm saying that, they have two members heading on over the A side. And they're going to get that capped here so they can add on some extra time. Uh, pretty much this match is already over. Comedy Option has won three rounds, but they are playing the fourth round since uh, the new Civil rules, rules are uh, two attacking, two defending, so both teams have the opportunity to do that. So there is a level 3 sentry gun for comedy option uh, at the B-side compound that looks into the uh, farthest entry point from the uh, blue side's main. And right now there's 4 minutes 10 seconds left in this fourth and final round. So the, there's additional time now. There's going to be 7 minutes here. Additional time added. So 7 minutes 4 seconds as, they, as I hot cap the uh, A capture point. So right now... This is their only hope to come into B right now, and uh, the the big monster comedy option is just waiting for him right now. Yeah, not only is there a, a level three sentry there, but he also has a dispenser right next to it in range, so he can just sit sit out of view of the enemy and just keep that thing repaired. They really got their strategy down. Uh, you can tell they've been practicing this, and they're they're uh, they're no noobs. Yeah, right now, uh, 6 minutes, 25 seconds, and I have, uh looks like uh, Comedy Bliss and Natagast there taking out Zergaholic and Boogs there. And right now we have a spy appearance, and uh, Insanity got taken out there by Tosax, and he gets also that defend uh, capture uh, point there for himself to add on. So 6 minutes left, a little shade over 6 minutes. And uh, Fatty, you know, this is your first cast for TF2, and uh, this is my third I mean, this is this is an exciting uh, game to cast and a lot of fast action. And you know what? There's going to be a lot of surprises, at least um, these, a lot of these competition teams that come from other games coming into the backyard of these TF2 teams. They're going to get a rude awakening, as we're, we're seeing here as this. Yeah, this is, this is definitely, uh, well, especially for us coming from, you know, the Battlefield series, this is already the second time we've had an uh, uh, unknown team to us, you know, just just wail away on a on a team that is highly respected in the battlefield community so if you're coming from battlefield folks uh make sure you get get your game uh get your game right before you try and take on some of these tf vets yeah no doubt about that we had second and tights taking out 20 id and uh, I mean, 20 ID really got that first round really quick, and I basically just woke up a sleeping giant. And Sagan and Ty just just pretty much just slapped them like a slab of wet bologna there, and they just took that.
in the uh, first SIBO match that we covered on Monday. So if you, again, if you want any matches covered from EREB, make sure you head on over to the uh, www.e-reb.tv, join the forums and uh, put a, a thread in there in the forums that you want your match cast casted, and that's for any league, but especially for SIBO, and we want I think Siebel for giving us the opportunity to uh, cast their tournament. Right now, four minutes, 25 seconds left, and the sentry gun is, of Rubicon's is being a beast, taking out bonkers there, and Rubicon getting that defend point. Again, this is the fourth and final round here. This is really, they're just playing this out. Comedy Option has already won 3-0, to zero, and uh, pretty much they're just, again, playing this fourth round out, because that is the Siebel rules. Seen a lot of good soldier work from Comedy Option as well. They uh, see a lot of rocket jumps coming from their soldiers, which is really throwing off uh, IHOT guys. Definitely good movement, teamwork, uh, individual skill here from Comedy Option. This is, I have a feeling these folks are going to definitely make a name for themselves in the TF2 community. Yeah, yeah, and and second and tights again. Uh, as I was talking before, watching them on Monday. I mean, these teams have their strats down, and if you're coming from another game like you were saying a little earlier, they got to have their stuff straight here. Otherwise, they're gonna get just rolled. And Tosax, uh, another kill for him. And uh, right now, Comedy Option has three minutes uh, and ten seconds left to defend the B and C point. IHOT uh, is trying to get out of their main right now, or, or actually out of A, trying to get into B, but they're just having a really tough time here, uh, trying to penetrate the, the, the uh, defensive lines of Comedy Option. Yeah, we were talking about, uh, talking about Iron Man earlier. Rubicon's been doing a great job. I'm not, not going to put him down, but, you know, we've got to give some love to the medic, too. Yousef has been doing a fantastic job getting that Uber charged up, saving it for for the right moments running around the field at all times making sure everybody's got full health uh, this is one of the difficult things about this game you, there's so many options yeah I, I you know what i would i would have to change it too because as i'm thinking about it yeah the medic is i think medic is one of the toughest jobs because you got to bounce around you got to dodge bullets while keeping trying to keep your your guys uh charged up there and medded and it's a very difficult job because you're not really the uh, glory man because you're not really shooting your weapon as much so you don't get a lot of love uh in the uh, kdr aspect but yeah I, I would have to say the same thing but so we'll make sure we get him on uh, in an interview, but make sure to also make sure you join us. We're going to show a little eight-minute video, TF2 video, uh, called Ignis Solis, and this is by Lit Fuse Films. And you can uh, head on over to Lit Fuse Lit Fuse Films Films dot com. Man, my mouth's getting dry. We've got a minute and thirty-six seconds left, and B is still completely untainted right now by IHOT. So. This looks like it's going to be a 4-0 run for a comedy option here tonight. Well, you know what, Fatty? I, I, I know this for sure. Even though IHOT may not have had a really good showing here, by the time the end of the tournament, you know, they're going to be ready. They're going to be set. I know Garrett. He's going to get his troops ready. They're going to bounce back. I guarantee that because they are no slouches. And, again, once they learn this game, I mean, I mean they already know the game, but once they learn the, the strat-wise... These guys are going to be a really good team because I know the talent on that side. But uh, oh yeah, right definitely. I, I definitely think that uh, this is kind of a bad showing for them um, against most other teams. You know, they'd stomp them out, and by the end of this, that they're, they're definitely going to be uh, they're definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, no doubt about that. So 35 seconds left in this uh, fourth and final round between Comedy Option. And IHOT here on EREV. So right now, 25 seconds. Uh, Comedy Option still has control of B and C. They're defending those two points as we speak. And uh, Captain Garrett on the line there gets taken out by Natagast. And Natagast gets that, is dominating Captain Garrett. And he's, and he's also dominating Boogs. So Natagast getting a couple dominations there. And two and one, and that is it, ladies and gents. Comedy option taking this 
four rounds to zero. Nice job by them and nice showing. Right now we're going to go over the scoreboard really quick. We have Yusef going 62, Natagas going 58, and Comedy Bliss going 49 total combined score there. Zergaholic going 46, D Wolf going 26, and it just changed. So try to get those scores out a little quicker next time. So we thank you for tuning in here. We're going to get the Ironman of the match. So if you can hold on really quick, Fatty, if you have any shout outs, uh, you could shoot those over. I'm not sure if you do or don't. I I don't yet. Maybe we should uh, go ahead and play the video while we get the uh, the Iron Man in here. Sounds good. So hopefully, uh, if uh, Limex ready to go, uh, we can shoot that film. It'll take about eight minutes. I'll, yeah, that'll definitely give us time to get our Iron Man in here. So uh, we'll get that rolling. So Limex, are you ready for that? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Igna Solis. This is by LitFuseFilms.com and you know, Limek, what type of film is this? It's a machinima. <laughs> you can check it in Wikipedia what that means. On to the...
All right, welcome back, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that short TF2 film. Again, that was Ignis Solas, and that is brought to you by LitFuseFilms.com. So you can head on over there and watch other stuff that they have. All right, now we're going to have the Iron Man of the match, and I'd like to welcome Comedy Options Hot Medic there, Yusuf. How's it going, buddy? Hey. Oh, I think all right. so it's fine. All right, well, first of all, congratulations on and a very impressive win there and uh, you guys head on over to uh, 3 0 and one you, you have that forfeit win but that's still always a positive but nevertheless uh, good job there as a team um, how did you guys prepare big time for this match a lot of scrims uh, we generally in? scrim a lot 
before every match. I don't think IHOT had the uh, same preparation. We never really saw them scrimming much in the scrim channels, so they came kind of unprepared. Okay. Well, you know, myself and Fat Stacks were just uh, marveling over how you just did an excellent job as a medic. And I know medics don't really get all the glory, but they do get all the yell yells at them if they don't keep their members uh, charged up. Um, tell us, how did you feel about that match coming in as a medic? Uh, really, did you feel pressured at all or anything of that nature? Uh, no. I think we generally came in with a pretty positive mindset that just because we were so prepared. We scrimmed uh, several times before the match as well. So Now I know we're talking a little bit uh, while I pulled you in channel and uh, you know the mindset of a medic is a little bit different. Could you tell me a little bit about that? I mean because again it is a very unique uh, position to play because uh, you're not really doing a lot of shooting. Uh, maybe you could tell us uh, the viewers a little bit about that. Maybe how you prepare for it. Uh, well, it's just a lot more of a tactical mindset and basically being a survivor. Um, you're just trying to stay out of harm's way and you watch out for crits because crits are kind of a big deal when you're a medic, like for who you're healing and if one is coming to you because I don't really like the crit game mechanic, but it's there right now. So you kind of have to watch out for getting insta -gib. Yeah, it seems it seems that's pretty big uh, consensus throughout the community that people aren't really liking the the crit reg. Hopefully, we can uh, figure out as a community how to fix that a little bit. Just the main problem is it can determine things, but it's completely based on dice, basically, and there's nothing you can do really to combat it except try not to put yourself in vulnerable situations where they could possibly get a crit. Yeah, no doubt about that. Okay, well, well let me ask you this. Uh, is there any way, if any teams want to scrim comedy option, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, our main channel is at poundc.opt or poundc.opt if you want to get in contact with us. Make sure, people, that you guys hit that IRC channel up if you want to scrim a good team and want to get better. This is one of the teams you want to get a hold of. Um, is there any, uh, before we let you go, Yusuf, is there any shout outs to anybody out there or sponsors that you have that you want to give a shameless plug to before we let you go? Uh, I would like to give a shout out to Mr. MMMMM Divi and uh, also Dharma Cafe and Kickwave especially. All right. Fatty, uh, you have any last minute questions for the Iron Man or? Limic, well, we'll go with Fatty first. Anything you want to say to him or any last-minute words? God, I just had a question, and then when you made it sound like we were cutting out, I totally forgot what it was. I have a that lot is... of those moments. I know the feeling. <laughs> and I don't even smoke, so this is kind of nuts. <laughs> Limic, do you have anything? <clears throat> no, not really. Okay, thanks for chiming in. All right, that's going to do it for tonight's coverage of SIVO. Again, you can head on over there to www.sivo.com and uh, check out the forums. You can find the latest in rules and uh, uh, matches and just get the lowdown of what's going on in the SIVO community. Uh, again, I'd like to thank the uh, SIVO admins for giving us the opportunity to cover this tournament. And uh, we'll be back next week, uh, possibly the same time, same bat channel as always. I'm your host, Anger, and uh, for Fat Sacks, Limic, and uh, everybody else here at EREV, I'd like to say good night, and we will see you next week. Peace. Douchebag Bye. Award coming next time.